Before we enter into the dialogue of the seventh day, once again my salutations to everyone from the stage, Jai Siaram, Vasudev Kutumbakam, this. By keeping the good thoughts at the center, we are communicating these days. I am speaking and you are listening. But I have not come here only to narrate to you, because you are constantly listening to me in many of your families. I must have come after listening to the story of unity and goodness. Our goal is the so you are listening. I am making you an instrument, but I have come here to narrate the sky. I have come here to narrate the water, to the element of this land. I have come to narrate this atmosphere, and instead of love, dispassion is being gone on the whole world. I have come to narrate this burning fire element, especially in this particular story. My listeners are these five elements. Yes, I pray to God that this song reaches to God. We are sitting here with the idea that Vasudev Kutumb is the proclamation of the Indian mind. But why do we not get success despite all our wants? Three things can be understood. First, Deva Sudev, Kutumbakam, will never be attained by weapons. Instead of weapons, the scriptures will have to be established. Because by weapons it didn't happen. And how can it be done? From where the world is told about world brotherhood and world peace, everyone who talks about them sells weapons. What is the reality? There is a fault somewhere in the root, you think, in Gujarati. There is a proverb in it, Katla, bed is a symbol of rest, liberates tiredness and gives comfort to one's body and mind. But if you claim a weapon, that in Mahabharata, the weapons were picked up even during the Ramayana period too. But pay attention, sometimes the scriptures descend through the wisdom of wise men, through the wisdom of wise great men, and via the heart, it becomes good and comes into one's hands. Sometimes it was also seen that the scripture comes from the mind, somewhere in the worship system, but it comes directly into the hand instead of the heart. Then the scripture also becomes a weapon. It should come to the heart via the heart. In the Mahabharata, the weapon was raised, although Lord Krishna did not take up the weapon. This weapon was an in heart through heart, so the scriptures came to the battlefield. Gita is there. The Bhagavad Gita is there in Ramayana. The chariot of religion arrived. Then three things are understood. First, brotherhood will never arise from weapons. The scriptures should be established. And I am not saying that there should be a particular scripture in the scriptures. This scripture should be free of ornaments, adjectives, special scriptures. That should be established. Secondly, as long as there is stupidity in our intellect, the Vasudev Kutumbakam will never be perfected. If Buddhahood appears in our intellect, then this event can happen. And how is Buddhahood manifest? We are living unconsciously. That is why someone hits us anywhere, shatters us anytime. Things are being heard in such a way that someone says that if we get that, we will stop the war in a day. Statement. And if we don't do this, then there may be a third world war. Here, what does a pigeon do who is sitting on the barrel of a cannon? Said Madhav Ramanuj. Today, I have many poems from our Gujarati literateurs. 
Jai Bai has sent a poem of Gani Dahiwa Walai, a universal thought of his. Our respected Bagesh Baija Saheb has also sent a poem about pigeons, Tushar Bhai, all sacrificing themselves in this sacrifice. Badravi Bai wrote that Babu, I am not available with the body, but I am hearing this kata. I am listening to it in some corner. So all are connected here, all by becoming one, so long as you and I are stupid, unconsciousness. Buddhahood means awakening, caution. My very favorite word is Brahma, Buddha Purush, you know. When I speak of a Buddha Purush, many people ask, what is the definition of a Buddha Purush? Who is called a Buddha Purush? From my experience, I have heard many Buddha Purush in their own language, learned about the lives of many Buddha Purush. Either where else should I go? I go to the corner of Talgajada, in the corner of Ramji Temple. Then the way I have seen Tribhuvandada, then I have an interpretation from it. This is the interpretation of experience. These six young brothers and sisters, Sadguru, Buddha Purush, Vishwamanav, whom would we call it? Chanting the rosary continuously is his personal thing. It is his personal thing to chant the rosary. Do tripun, do urdhava punt, either a special type of tilak he does. All this is debauching. All this should suit your own interest and your nature. There should be no manipulation in it. Buddha Purush is who wearing a holy shoes. One day when I was coming from the hotel, a lady from here, I was getting into the car, and I saw her expression, seeing my footwear. She said such things, that how is this man walking? In this country only with such footwear has walked. Not with who is with position, but how should I ask? I don't know English. That lady was wearing heels of seven inches. I thought, how could she walk wearing that? How does she do that? I was coming from somewhere in Gujarat to Mansa or somewhere. So at that time we used to drive very long, sometimes from somewhere for eight to ten hours. Then the driver, who was a person of Islam religion, I asked him that if you drive for so many hours, then you do not, you want to sleep. So he said, Babu, I could not ask. I have to ask you this question. I said, what do you mean? He said, this is what I see. I leave you in the story. Then I see that, that you speak for four hours. Why do you don't fall asleep? The one who has faith in his original religion will get asleep. The Paradharma Gita Kar says, Terrible. He asked a very good question. So who is the Buddha Purush? Discoursing good words. The effect of speech is amazing. The audience hangs on his tongue. It can happen. Spoken prose, but it seems like verse. It seems like this. So how do we know, especially these young children, the Satguru, this Buddha Purush, so and so, what is the introduction of that? First, you don't have to accept what I have seen, what I have experienced, that it should be for us, at least for me. For me, there is a Buddha man first, who has a lot of determination, a lot of generosity, so much generosity that we cannot bear, so much generosity, so much forgiveness, so much forgiveness, a man spit on the face of Lord Buddha. The disciples did not like it, and the Buddha remained silent. But Ananda, etc., said that we also have a limit that a man spit. And Buddha said, he had to say something. Anand, do not criticize. He had something to say, but he did not have the language to say that he used his lips to speak. He used it with his lips. Someone says thank you. Someone spits. What difference does it make? And the next day he returned to ask for forgiveness. Then the Buddha said that the man who spat on my face yesterday did not come again. This is the second man who came. Determination. All the Buddha Purush who have become are very generous, very, and Rama, so Goswamiji says, who loves the poor, the deprived, the neglected, the untouchables without any reason. For me, so that I can at least be a wise man. So I can understand what I have seen from experience. So a narrow-minded man 
cannot be a Buddha Purush, nor a miserable man. One is determination and generosity, and the other was beautiful. There should be a beauty now as Buddha sits, if he is sitting, though it might be imagined, whether there will be any original picture of it or not, I do not know. The idols are said, Nagin Baba says, the idol came after Buddha, the idol came after Buddha, and now there are thousands of idols of Buddha in the temple of those who forbade the idol worshipping. Such statement of Osho also came, but Listening to his words, it seems that the man must have been very beautiful. Beautiful. What are you thinking about Jesus Christ? What an innocent man. We went to the Vatican and the church there. Mother Mary holding Jesus. Amazing. Amazing. I went to that church to see all of us who had gone at that time. I did not want it to go anywhere else. I said, I saw it. It is enough. Enough. Looking somewhere else, I was left standing. How innocent, how beautiful must have been Jesus, which are the great men have been there. But let me also reveal to you that beauty does not mean only physical beauty for me. The beauty of remembrance, the beauty of meditation, the beauty of solitude, the beauty of silence, the beauty of peace, in whom there is all this beauty, we used to say to Shantiva Madhedene, to whom we go. And when we returned from him, we would not have been the same like before. Then we would have become others. This is glory of a beautiful body. I am not such a man who talks in such a pleasant language. There is also a glory of beauty, how beautiful the earth is. And in Ramcharit Manas, four times, look, you should hail your own country. Jai Hind, Jai India. Every country wants their hail. There should be no issue. But Vinobhaji added a word that there should be no, a country's hail, be of the world, hail world. So by hail world, we are what we are. No, Ramcharit Manas went further ahead and hailed and said hail being, along with insects, body, mind hail to all, hail being word used four times in Ramcharit Manas, like we say Jai Siaram, like that in Ramcharit Manas, when the ministers of king visits and meets, they said hail being. That's big thinking in my view. The beauty of thoughts, the beauty of contemplation should be there. Buddha Purusha is he. He has many types of beauty, but the beauty that is before us should not be disrespected. Both types, was the Ashtavakra beautiful? He had eight curves in his body, but how beautiful you would be of this Buddha Purush, made a king like Janaka sit with a platoon. And Janaka said to Ashtavakra, listening to your speech, the phenomenon in a moment, I am surprised now. When the rain is slow, it's not surprising. But if rains altogether, what has happened? Sometimes it is surprising when the incident happens from the eyes of a Buddha Purush. Then it's surprising when touches it becomes awake, when he talks to us for a minute and our eye gets uncontrolled, that kind of beauty, and should not disrespect the beauty of the world, our side. There are many great men who are awakened, seeing the fallen leaf. The leaf fell and there was awakening. A woman took out a pitcher of water from the well and placed it on the step of the well. It was the night of the full moon and the reflection of the moon appeared in the pit and awakened. These are also phenomena. The beauty of the mind, the beauty of the word, the beauty of behavior. The beauty of thoughts, the beauty of words, of course. The Buddha Purush is the one who has a lot of generosity, a lot of deception and beauty. The beauty of Rama, great men like Vallabhacharya sing like mad. Your lips are beautiful. When you smile, you look beautiful. You are all beautiful. There is a biography of Pandurang Dada. They has released, at the time of his age, Dada's memorial book was sent to me. Dada used to give respect, then everyone used to give respect. 
So the name of this book was Akilam Maduram. I liked it. So beauty of every kind. In this, the beauty of the person that should also be glorified, not in this, can't see and will crush the eyes. And why does the drama inside, yes, look after wearing mascara of dignity? Only black eyes, but dignity is the collyrium of Indian culture. Even beauty must be respected. Gulzar, sir, had once requested, maybe Gulzar, I am saying for sure, Gulzar had requested, Jai Bai, that why do you go to Osho's ashram in Pune to listen? He said, I don't go to listen. I am going to see beauty. I like his bold answer of how much a man has become so strong, how much man is hiding himself, how much he is being hidden. When there is a general meeting here and all the people of the country come, how beautiful they must be speaking, like please stop selling weapons. You think I am speaking courageously, speaking from the same place, and two days are left, my Hanumanji will complete it, because my voice should go there, I didn't just come to tell you a little, you think there should be beauty. There is beauty in a plant, in the flow of a river, of the rising sun, of the full moon, of the rustling wind, that's beauty, and only Krishna has been kept at the center, but the whole world is this beautiful. This world is beautiful. If someone else is beautiful, then his eye should also be a priest and not a hunter. Remember that much. Sometimes when I sing a song from a Sundar Gata and film, I sing it with this view, shall I sing? So you came to listen movie song or kata? I may have sung it once before also. Tanavi Sundar Manavi it is said that the body is like sandalwood. What does it mean? Keep the sandalwood like this. It doesn't get dirty. Rub it. The body works hard. That soap is made from it. And when rubbed, it gives fragrance. Only then sandalwood go on the hair of God. This fragrance come a little in the forest. But its fragrance is obtained only when it is rubbed. When the body of a man works hard, does charity. It has his own fragrance. It has a fragrance. So he is Buddha Purush in my view. So in this concept, now imagine how generous Kabir Sahib is, how much balance he does. This is Buddha Purush. People go to Kashi to die for liberation. And he lived in Kashi, lived there, and never thought of liberation. Without the slightest regard, accept the death. See the beauty, because he said that the land is important for salvation. Surely we have seven cities of salvation there. We should bow, but the land for salvation is not so important as important as the role. Salvation can be done in a moment. Look, we live in the land of liberation for three hours. Nobody worries here. No one, everything remains outside. This is liberation. So beauty, God Guru Nanak sitting here, look at the picture, it looks so beautiful, so lovely. Take Mehta, take Mira, all the Buddha Purush. So there is detachment. Beauty, the third symptom is, there should be melody.
That's why God Vallabhachaya says, Vallabhati Pati, when it speaks, it's like the honey melt in ears. So the melody should be there, should be melodies. It was also said that Buddha spoke till 40 years of age. What kind of speech he would have had that even today has its effect after 2500 years? The more the impact, the Buddha is becoming more relevant. What sweetness must have been? Let there be melody, and let me say, a fourth trait of a Buddha Purush, he should be serious. It means that he does not sit seriously, but laughs, cries, smiles, do everything, but a maturity within. A religious man is only serious. But the Buddha Purush, with seriousness, carries so many things with him, but transfers the statement to us with seriousness. Transfer the statement to us with seriousness should be serious. This is also a symptom of a Buddha Purush, the fifth trait, concept, beauty, melody. These are also the words I make, but the symptom. See, I can put these words in such a presentation, but fifth trait I find in Buddha Purush is patience. There is a lot of patience in them. If not today, then tomorrow it will be possible. If it is not built now, then it will not be made again. It will not be like that. The meaning of this post, but if not now, then after 10 years, after 50 years, the phenomenon will happen, the phenomenon will happen, the phenomenon will occur. There is a pot of porcelain in which our Gujarati ladies, who make the best pickles, kept it inside for a year, and after it is finished, its smell doesn't vanish. No matter how much you clean the fragrance of the Athane, pour any detergent, the fragrance does not go. We are here for nine days. And we have sung good good, it has some effect, but if not today, then tomorrow, and even if it is not there, who have we brought with the purpose? where we have to take the purpose, but we should have patience, patience. We have the formula that is Dharyakanta, the story of patience, on I have said, amazing small formulas, who is sage, Sri Rampaduka, whose footwear is Mahalakshmi, Lakshmi runs behind him, Atmanarat, one whose soul dances, etc. So much patience. Our Ganga Sati says that patience has to be kept in such a way that Buddha Purush like, मेरु रे डगे जेना चितनी वृत्ति रे जैनी रहे सदा नीमान Dhiram. For Lord Rama, the arena, one who maintains patience in duality, that is the fifth characteristic of a Buddha Purush. The sixth one is the one who has courage. A coward cannot be Buddha. There should be courage to be brave, whatever the result will be. 
bravery in ramcharit manas the description of the chariot of dharma under the lanka kand which god has described in front of vibishan made the chariot metaphor and tells vibishana that vibishana from which victory is got that's not this gross chariot it is the chariot of religion it is the chariot of spirituality it is the chariot of buddha so you know the whole metaphor under lanka kand and in mahabharata in the gita lord krishna comes to the middle mahabharata with a chariot so what is in it that blood has not been shed before that the gita was spoke now the head has not been solved the conch shell had sounded everyone had sounded their conch shell you all know this then gita happened in between there was such a chariot in ramchrit manas that in which there was almost a lot of blood stained earth indrajit was dead kumbhakarna also went and then when it came to war in front of ravana vibishana said that ravana is in the chariot and raghunath ji you are without chariot so how will you win it then the lord said vibishan which leads to victory that chariot is separated then you know the form of the chariot of dharma you know on this there are two or three stories i have got the opportunity to serve chariot dharma so there goswami ji says rama says that the chariot of religion has two wheels arjuna whose wheels are patience and bravery needs two wheels many people have patience but not bravery they will be called cowards and many people have bravery but do not let fruit ripe do urgency dwaja and pataka these two words we know and the flag is one but the banners are too many in the archway we have too many banners in navaratri the flag is one but banners are too many the truth is one but there are many wrongs look at the alertness of the creator there is only one truth call her indra call her varun call her agni call her savita call her a complete is the mantra of that veda although everyone someone not everyone someone has called the indra is form of truth their indra is the true form varun is called the truth yama is called the truth fire is called the truth mother is called as the truth how vast but the truth is one seen from every angle modesty nature sila also has a meaning nature there are of many types truth is one truth is not american truth is not russian truth is not chinese not indian truth is one truth is the ultimate truth so patience and bravery both of these are of buddha purush now let us communicate with another perspective that here there is also a vision of the nature of a buddha purush who has a concept in his nature put the word nature everywhere this buddha purush is of the female gender or the male gender because buddha also comes in the female gender too not like that how many women in the vedas have attained buddhahood what would you call gangaswati what would you say to lallabai of kashmir there is not that in this the buddha is the one who has determination in his nature who has natural beauty and easy beauty what is rama parvati says to sita you will get the brown person that settled in your mind but your brown is sad sundar samro easy beauty beauty of nature we were once in kashi in a poetic symposium in bhai ji's house in sant kripa in dindayal ji's house there was a poetic symposium there was bikal utsahi and many other big poets now they are all dead it's good as there are two four good people are there otherwise with whom shall we sit so with who we will sit that is becoming a problem sir great people are dead great people it's a crisis with whom to sit it's a crisis at this time i am lucky i found you so all day kumar sir was also probably there and he was a big poet at that time his gopal das niraj sir then baikal utsahi sir he was also an mp now he is no more so baikal utsahi sir recited his poetry so he said wrote that what was it sometimes the simplicity of man is an adornment ravi shankar maharaj wore a dhoti under the leg elbow but simply he was the only one in gujarat there is only one man in gujarat who lit the lamp of the inauguration of gujarat state ravi shankar maharaj or bhagat babu right khan babu
आगे एक ब्राह्मण भाजो खबे से उचालो कागे I want to do a Kata Manas Ravi Shankar, who inaugurated Gujarat, wants to do a Kata for that Brahmin. I feel it now and will do it 90% otherwise on the next birth, as I said yesterday, to do Kata on nine tastes. Then these people do not agree, scolded me. I said we'll do Kata, where all nine tastes will be combined. Manas Navras, Ketsi was asking me what about Vivatsaras. I said I will tell you what it is. So in it, there is nine rasas. So the vivatsaras is not untouchably. What is vivatsaras? When you curse someone, Narada spoke too much vivatsaras. Vishnu, you are that. Also Parshuramji spoke too. When we go to Rama, in Mithila, there were so many vivatsaras spoken by Mithila people at the time of the wedding of Rama. Without cursing the in-laws doesn't look good. There is a combination of cursing in-laws, Rishi, we have Viva Panchami, in Bihar, in Baksar, we sing Maithili songs. I have been present in it many times. So in that, the women's of Mithila used such a gruesome language with Lord Rama. They talk like Koshalya, Kekai, Sumitra. It would look easy like this. Many Koshalya, Kekai, Sumitra, three. But what do Mithila women's do? Using the Vivatsarsa, that by doing Koshalya has many Sumitra. Kausalyaji told her friends that you have such, so made fun of using vivatsaras when Navras Goswamiji says, so when the opportunity arises, we will do it. Everyone is asking for it. Now tell me, I am not interested in asking for a story. I was requesting you to tell a story. For Ravi Shankar Baba, his soul is the benefactor. Bharat Bapu writes that these boys who don't understand Gujarati and listen to it M, so they can't understand it, and they will frustrate it and think that if they had learned Gujarati, they could have understood. Bhagat Bapu, by sitting on the edge of the field. Kag writes, which are in Vedas, go to Majanda. There are Vedas in Bapu's mind, but even if there is not, by whose command the wind comes, by whose command the sun shines, by whose command the sea is disturbed, by whose command the earth should remain on its carpet. Bhagat Bapu, by sitting on the edge of the field, by whose command, in context of Ravana. A song from a movie, the name of the song is Faisalo. In our Old Testaments, it was also singing that. In our Old Testaments, it was also sang that. The soreness of Manodari was sang. Chato jaini agya thaghi meg jal bar suta Anahu kam li dha pathi vayu vata Chand ne suraj tej chamakata अने नवग्रहो वूच ने नीच धाता ये रावण नो फैसलो लंका ना मैदान मा रक्त में कलम डोली इन रघुनाथ जी आप इधर हो फैसलो यू नो मा कौन लोग गीत गात जगत की प्रकृति का जो उसने वर्णन किया तो लेख का गढ़ लख्या 
अनकाल ने जीत वा कलम टाकी ए वर्षो ना वर्ष विचार करने अन मांगता नव रहु काई बाकी देव सव पाळता सई विरंची तणी अन क्या तो देव नो देव ये जगत थापे रद बना का गलो एक ये भी गति एनु फैसलो नाथ नरसन क्या तो वैशाख शुक्ल जाऊ दस विशाल गति हो जग संधिकार प्रत भट यसुरान प्रगट घट वंजन विकट रूप नर संग भणे जीव विकट रूप नर संग भणे जीव विकट रूप जन Here we are singing with the tune but surely if it sang with the folk tune then you will start dancing even without any musical instrument the drum is not required the recorder is not required the flute is not needed that kind of tone kartiawad has bless you the land of saurashtra bless you where dayanand was born where gandhi was born where sardar was born where ravi shankar maharaj was born tribhuvan bapa vyas bless you the land of saurashtra so beautiful gems ratno rupa so simplicity became an adornment the mirrors were defeated the definition of nature beauty of nature seriousness of nature sweetness of nature natural bravery natural bravery and natural patience a buddha purush so weapon will not be able to give rest to the world but the scriptures will and the scriptures which have come through the heart he came down from mind and through the heart would become like smiling world how could the vasudev kutumb want to be less accomplished with such unconscious intellect of me and our likes we need the wisdom of buddha purush and it's called buddhatva according to me i think the third reason is that the vasudeva family will never attained with disdain but only with acceptance i should also tell you that if you want to be happy in your family then learn to accept each other at home to establish vasudev kutumb in the home remember four things one is acceptance and second is to improve your nature a little if there is a little improvement then acceptance is first okay the wife has a very hot temper then men should accept that now this is his nature what should be done now and the indian civilization says that one has to take seven births even if one birth goes well it is done sir it is done accept it if the man talks too much then the wife should accept it it is no problem watch us but he come to my house and if the wife talks too much then the man should think saraswati ji has come to my house accept it i am telling it lightly but understand the seriousness acceptance is the great mantra learn each other's nature one person came to me and said for 28 years 
Everyone is my flower. Everyone talks to me, opening their heart. That's my earning. I am giving a guarantee that the satasang of Bhagavad Gita will bring peace to your home. Learn to accept. And while accepting why I could not accept till date, while thinking about it, learn to improve your nature a little. And if any calamity comes in the house, even after good efforts, then learn to respect this calamity, considering it as the prasad of God. We all want everyone to be profitable, earned, earned. Everyone has this in nature, in the exemption. If this could not be possible, then he should also be respected in this situation. Narsin Mehta told us a song. Sukha dukha man man nari Ghat saathe re gharaiya Accept improvement in one's life, respect for the situation, blessing from God and a little calamity, both property and adversity are two sides of the same coin. Once a sage man has wealth and adversity has decorated beautifully, he said to the sage man, Who among us is beautiful? The sage had eyes for beauty, and the sage asked, what are your names? So they said, I am wealthy, and this is my sister Calamity. What should he say when choosing someone? Others will get offended. So the sage said to the world, The wealth you look beautiful when you come and the... Calamity looks beautiful when goes away. When the calamity goes away, it looks beautiful. When the wealth comes, it looks beautiful. Acceptance, improvement, hospitality. And the fourth point, Vasudev Kutumbakam, should be there in our house too, because so many people of nature are in the house, or not. At least inside yourself, that house, your house, one is your house. There is a family in it. Inside, Shankaracharya says, the body is the house, and in it, there are five lives are there, these people living in the house. The soul is Shankar. Body is my mother. So the inner is calm. Within there is a Vasudev Kutumbakam. These formulas will have to be used at a given point in time. And request God to give us only a little test. And we get past it. So it is necessary. Many people come to me. Bapu, we have heard 80 stories. But anger does not get away. This is not your failure, it is my failure. How do I blame you? One incident can happen, and maybe we can do that. All is family done. So by accepting, we can achieve Vasudev Kutumbakam. It will never be achieved by despising each other. So the three formulas that we are sitting here. You will have to give up the talk of weapons through the heart, through the heart, a scripture has come to our country. If someone accepts it by leaving it behind, then it's Bhagavad Gita in Gita Hridayam Path. Gita, this is not a book. It is my heart. It is not a book. It is my heart. Whenever this incident happened from the scriptures, whenever. And the adjective free scriptures, world peace cannot come from unconscious minds like us. It can come from the awakening of Buddha. It can come from the Buddha man. 
The third will come from acceptance, by peace, not from contempt, not from neglect, not from neglect. Accept each other. The biggest problem is today. No one is ready to tolerate anyone. The mind gets irritated immediately. People live in so much tension. Some things can bring Vasudev Kutumbakam even in our family. For Vasudev Kutumbakam let yourself go. So every nation when then call them great, it should be welcomed. But after that Vinobhaji, a Buddha Purush says, Hail world! And Manaskar says, Hail living! There should not be violence even against small creatures. Lord Mahavir Swami said, that there should not be initial violence, there should not be opposition violence. Lord Mahavir Swami told about four types of violence, there should not be opposition violence. Industrial violence, Mahavir Swami. Industrial violence, there is violence in industry. Mahavir Swami said, if you consider farming as an industry, then there is violence in agriculture too. It is a simple matter. 2500 years ago, it was the philosophy of Lord Mahavira, Raju, did you know? You do. That there should be no violence in the industry. But today's compassion is that people have started an industry of violence. Imagine, I am speaking from this land. There should not be violence in the industry. Today, there are factories of violence. You buy our weapons, we will help. Will the weapons ever bring peace? Initial violence, opposite violence. If he ever said wrong to me, I will not leave. This opposite violence. I did not wear bracelets, but you are subservient to the one who wears bracelets. then accept that truth, it is humorous. Mothers and sisters, there is a poem by our mean Piyasi sir, from Gujarat keeps playing, I do not want to sing but you play it, so Vasudev Kutumbakam, everyone is given freedom to play, sing, anything. The word harmonium came from harmony, the world needs harmony, there are three generations, and all taught harmony, three generations. Suman by one is Brahmakul, which Shankaracharya Bhagwan, Brahma Kul has also mentioned. The second Guru Kul, where Brahma Vidya is taught, and the third is Gokul, Vrindavan, which never taught violence. Guru Kul has never taught violence. Guru Kul has never taught violence. And Brahma Kul has never covered the world in three clans. If someone confesses by leaving prejudice, then in Gokul sometimes there is dance, not harass. Yesterday the sisters and daughters danced so beautifully that the boys whose bodies did not stretch cut their bodies in three pieces, like his hand would be cut off, and nobody stood up. I told you, another dance will happen. It will be on Saturday tomorrow. I don't know. Today everything I hear is unrepentant. I am doing my best to even sit here. Maybe there is an issue in Mike. Your or mine, you are feeling the difference in my voice, maybe. It's not in harmony. But I am combining everything. I have to make it till 01.30. So let's go. In our Saurashtra, when we go swimming, we swim with open hands. Ardas Bapu, when floods happen. Girinari Bapu, I, Ardas Bapu, and Lal Bapu, Parati Bapu. We go there to see and pray for them. Then in between, there was flooding and we needed to swim. Then they asked me to swing and I said, I don't know swimming. I know how to awaken someone. I don't know swimming. You will get drowned. Ardas Bapu said, I know swimming. Ardas Bapu swims beautifully. Only his beard is seen out of the water. So beautiful. Let me offer these my words at his tomb. Our Tulsidas Bapu from Katrodi, his whole body got sick, so everyone in the house said that we would get infected, so he said, throw me into the well. How saint he is. We want to know if he is well, but the patient is in the well, he swims in the well for two or three hours. Some people swim by sitting, by sitting inside the water.
અમદાવાદમાં ને આ નવરાત્રિમાં કેવા રાસ થાય સુરતમાં વડોદરામાં ને કેટલા કેટલા એ બહેનો પતિ પત્ની રાસ લેતા હોય ને તો આપણે ક્યારેક જોયું હોય ને તો એ કેમ લેતા હોય કહું બે જણા હમે દેખ્યો પલો તો રાધિકા પાય ભગવાન કૃષ્ણ કો ઢૂંઢ ને નીકળા સાધુ પુષ્કો સાકેત મેં ન મિલા ગોલોક મેં ન મિલા વૃંદાવન મેં ન મિલા કોઈ ધામ મેં ન મેળા કૃષ્ણ તમ કિસી એક એક કૃષ્ણ પ્રેમમાં મસ્ત મહાપુરુષ કીધું કૃષ્ણ કા દર્શન કરો તો નિકુંજગી ગલીમાં જા વા રાધાજી સોઈ હૈ ઓર કૃષ્ણ ઉસકા પેર દબા રહા દેખો પહેલો તત રાધિકા પાયન a 
जिसके घर में कोलोराडो की कथा के समय में इसके घर ठहरा था तो हाँ माता आज इसका जन्मदिन है Yeah. 
खुड़ियार मास की नमा His daughter would have done very well too, but she has an injury in her leg. That's why. Otherwise, that girl was also good, but something happened to her leg. That's called betali. So, what were we discussing? Gokul, Brahmakul, Gurukul, and Gokul. And look at this. Radhika Palutat remembered Vrindavan, and a little bit of dance. Ladies will dance tomorrow. We will see. So. What were we talking about? Min Piasi, good, be happy, play what you were playing, play it. What is he trying to do? Panjato Ramato to Bali Yek Bangadi lay Hatman Ramata Wagi go ahead and go. Bangadi Wagi, Mane Bangadi Wagi, he party ray hot about the boat. Don't tell Marathi, it loop all I go you, and on a hoy by book. बंगड़ी ना वाजा तो कई करोता बैठा से वेदना नी बूम बधा पाड़े जेल्लो को मिन प्यासी says the mother of a child was going to fill water at the well then the child returned with water he kept playing so the mother took out the bracelet from her hand and gave it to him made of glass bangles of glass Lena Chandavarki you have seen the movie she is a very old actress Lena Chandavarki so the mother gave the child her bracelet to play with so the child got the bangle and started playing with it while playing one of the bangles broke and the bangle broke and while it broke the glass went into the child's hand and he started crying and from there our poet min piasi came out and said son many people got hit with the bangle so many are shouting in pain after all a poet is a poet small poems of min piasi bapa Pranpur. I even know the address of the poet. I know their dynasty. You know that song about pigeons? He wanted to pay that. He wanted to do gu, gu, gu. As soon as I spoke to Min Piasi, he took that and started playing as if it was Min Piasi. Never let it go. He caught it from the root. Min Piasi was sitting and at night a butterfly was struck on the wall so a lizard came from behind and immediately lizard ate the butterfly prabhu tari so remember the god that you are very creative you gave beauty to the butterfly so the lizard can eat it these little poems of min piasi bapa so we have boys to dance because they don't wear bangles tomorrow we will have a day's dance so vasudev kutum at least seven things are associated with one family first its clan and second is his dynasty in the brahm clan the shankaracharya said there is no clan and there is no dynasty if we talk about world perspective then there is not this but if we take the perspective of a small family then with seven things a family is made first is caste every person has his caste and everyone has their dynasty however caste and dynasty are synonyms but yet i am convinced that when two words are used for the same thing the linguist must have a different meaning so i have never been able to tell you that in our caste most of the time it comes from the father like ragukul came from the father banukul suryakul came from the father and lineage comes from the mother 
First, get a view of family, then the world, and we can go to the Vesudev Kutumbakam. Dynasty comes from mother, as the mother is the plant of the dynasty, not the father. Then I remember the Kabbapu. The Sita is the plant of destiny, and got dry for 14 years in the forest. Chato yen hari gayo lanka ke rojo nasani Jankhwani kari Jopani Maula tu mama ja ke tali kamani ए रानी सीता दीना साईबा भगत बापू पूछते हैं भगवान राम को कि राजमहल में कितनी मजा ली आपने हे सीता का साईबा हे सीता के पति आवता जो बानी आवा वनमावसे लो आवता जो बानी रखड़े लो राजा पुराण Dynasty starts with mother as proof I will not be able to call it as it is at all because sometimes both the words have also been used together in our literature in our texts but there is also a slight difference so our family is our family. Our family has a clan. The dynasty is from the father. Let me present Ravana in front of you. Ravana was born in the Pulatya clan, but called the Nishicha clan, Vibhishan said, because his mother was Ravana's father's wife. Ravana's mother was demonic. So dynasty comes from his mother because his mother was demonic and the clan comes from father because father was Pulatsya. So every family has a clan. People say there is not that ritual in our clan. Also, it was said by the Bhagavad Kas, Bhagavad said to Parikishit that I will widen my clan. There are two dynasties. The first is moon dynasties and the second is the sun. We all are the sun dynasty. There is a third dynasty, the fire dynasty in which Parashuram came three dynasties. So we all have a clan. I was born in the sage dynasty, so I can say that I am a child of the sage dynasty. For identification, however, at the global level, all this should be removed. But start with Gokul. Guru has come to Gurukul and reached Brahmakul. You have to start with Gokul. There is a Gokul. There is also a family of one's senses. It is called Gokul, a family of one's senses. So one is our family, there is a dynasty and there is a caste, although caste is not relevant. I do not believe in this, and I am not opposed to it again and again, but I bow down and overtake. No, now this is not the time. But the introduction is when the general family, brother, you belong to which castes? But the sadhu does not believe in the caste. Do not ask the caste of saint, ask the knowledge. Lord Buddha was thirsty. And a Dalit girl who came out of the countryside was taking out water from the well. Lord Buddha had come out and Buddha said, gave me water to calm my craving. And this Dalit girl took out the pitcher of water and looked at Lord Buddha. She stopped while giving them water, Tathagata said. Give me a drink, seeing the eyes, seeing the hair, seeing the color of the face. It felt that he was a man of some of a very high caste. And I gave him water and later he finds out that I am a Dalit girl. After drinking the water, so after drinking water, we can't ask for the house. Don't ask home. So first make it clear, forgive your majesty that I can't give you water. I will not give you water. Why? She said, I am a Dalit girl. Listen to Buddha's answer. Buddha says, I have not asked for your clan. I have not asked for caste. 
I am thirsty, I have asked for water, this is Buddha, this is Buddha, yet for people like us. There is a dynasty, there is caste, some say we are Brahmins, some say we are this, some say we are Patel, some say we are such and such thing, it's caste. It's fine for the introduction, but it is not good to accumulate rights. No brother, our numbers are small, so we should get this. It is not right that we should do this. I do not believe in this, you understand. I have only one clan, Gurukul. It's okay, I am in Brahmakula, and okay, even if not two. It's a middle way, Gurudwara, it's salvation. We used to fly the dust of the Tribhuvandada's shoes, and Savitama used to collect it in a box. It saved us from many illnesses. We were so underprivileged that we could not even think about any other medicine used to take the shoes and from that take the dust from it and keep it in a box. When we got ill, we mix that pinch of dust in water and drink it. In the morning we became cured. It's a glory of the Guru, but that Guru's symptoms should be beauty, wisdom, serious, daring and patience. If faith does not work, what faith does not work, then a saint has no caste. There is no saint caste. This is outside the caste. So you still, because of our behavior, we would have said that our caste, etc. There is no differentiation either of gender, male or female. So in the family, a mother is a woman, a sister is a woman, a daughter-in-law is a woman, then there is a boy, he is male, father, grandfather, all these are men, but this is not a distinction. There is a system, a relationship, a relationship, a clan, a lineage, a caste, and the fourth thing is a country. Everyone has his own village. It's a bhajan. Mother Jayashri sings that a country is a there, like are from Surat. We are from Gujarat. We are from India. We are from America. For a simple introduction, so much thing is associated with the family. One time is associated with it. Time means our father stayed there for a hundred years and our seven generations stayed there. The time element is also associated with it. Then clan, lineage, caste, country, time, five, five, and sixth is nature. Every family has its nature. We know that in that family there is greed. Mostly, we would be happy if we were wrong. A greedy. I said this story many times. So in a greedy person's home, In his house, there are five people. And this has to be said in Gujarati only. I can't do this in Hindi. Please forgive me. So they buy a tabudi of milk. Did you get it? Tabudi, you need to see it. It cannot be explained. It's this small. Or those who got married in the village know that when the groom was sitting after putting something inside tabudi and was put in the backside inside shirt, the meaning of that is now it's just little uncomfortable afterward. You will be beaten then all your bones will be like this. All our folk rituals are very, very instructive, preacher. I used to say that if the groom goes to marry, who got married in the village, her mother-in-law now knows what his daughter's nature is like. If you believe it, you know it. It's her daughter. So when they welcome, there is a ritual to be done in it. The mother-in-law takes her sari, with glass and does the arti of the groom and throws a ball of flour with turmeric in it at one side and another at another side. Do that four times in different directions. Why? As it's your last chance, if you want to run, you can in these directions. Tabudi is much smaller and bigger than that called tabudo or kalasho. Tabudi has particular measurements. So someone asked what your family of five people does with this single tabudi of milk. And he said, we all do dinner with that milk. Milk is required for dinner. Some people can't take milk for dinner. All milk is different 
and there is cow's milk, our Katiavadi requires milk for dinner with bread. Five people do dinner with a single tabudi of milk, and whatever remains of the milk, we make yogurt from that, put buttermilk to it, and make yogurt. And from yogurt, we make buttermilk, and we caress buttermilk, and from that, we make some ghee, and give it to God for lamp, and also, there is milk left for the morning tea. So all did dinner, morning tea, buttermilk, yogurt. Then he said, poor people are living in our area. We tell them to get buttermilk from us, from Tabudi of milk. Our teacher used to call a chunky boy, Tabudi, to come here. And they accepted that they were Tabudi. They shouldn't have agreed. So gives buttermilk to society, and then as we are a family, our son was playing, and by mistake, it got spilled. It got spilled, and our entire home got wet due to that. Each family has their temperament, generous temperament of family. We cannot have any other hope from them. They take the money of prayer. In older times, when God's prayer was done, it was given to everyone, and some put a rupee, and some put fifty paisa, but those who were greedy took arti along with the money collected. That runs in their family. In Kata, an arti was done when a man wanted to put a coin in the arti, but it took five, seven minutes, and he started to sweat his fingers with the coin when the arti came to him while putting it in thali. He saw the wet coin and said, are you crying? Don't you want to go? Do you feel lonely? He took another coin from Tali and joined both coins. The family has their nature. So dynasty, clan, lineage, country, time, nature, and the five virtues. All family has their virtue, their virtue. They can break, but not get down. We have a saying. So seven things connect with the family, as we are discussing Vasudev Kutumbakam, what is the clan, dynasty, time, nature, country of this world family. We will discuss about that tomorrow. Vasudev Kutumbakam, we have time, but I will take some of the line of Kata in that time, because if the matter of Vasudev Kutumbakam was to pair seven things with the family, then these seven things with the global family, if you and I understand, it will be very auspicious in the future, something or the other will happen. Today, after discussing this, we also have lots of material. Yes, this JJIB word that has come four times was sent to me in writing, so I have the material. Chopper. about Dokla yesterday. The poem is written on that Akipatra. Wrote beautiful poem, Wake Up This World. 
that you dream nothing to fear, it's Rumi sentence. This world, look at the world with awareness, even if it is like a dream, but there is no need to fear it, says Rumi. A poem of Ghani Sir, a poem of Bagesh Bhai. There are pigeons in America also, I saw. They are American pigeons. They give a message of peace, but... J. Bhai has sent. Dari Sahab have written this poem. Rakesh Bhai said this, but it got lost. Son, why don't you sit in the palace? There is a family in America where I have seen the children say, Nana Nana, its mouth is open. Put some money in it. A message of peace has come. But it is written in English GL. Joe should be written separately. Joe A. What? It is written Joe. G I Joe. Poem of Bhagesh Bhai. Okay, let's go. तकदीर की मैं कोई भूल दाई से बिछड़ा तकदीर की मैं कोई भूल So the Ramkatha, of which these two lines were taken for this story, let us proceed with this Ramkatha in an order. Remember yesterday's story that in a building called Sundar Sadan, Janakji accommodated Vishwamitra and other sages and Rama, Lakshmana. In Manas's opinion is that where Sitaji resided. The name of that building was Sundar Sadan. Rama is to be accommodated, that is why. So Sitaji was called by Janakji from Sundar Sadan to his building. He is king, and his sons and daughters are whatever they are. Then Janakiji was with her friends. Such a mention is found in Manas that Sitaji's residence was in Sundar Sadan. And from there, Sitaji, the guest is Rama, Vishwamitra. Then Sitaji is in his building. Maharaj said that now stay here, and this house was given to Rama for accommodation. Why? Why give it there? First of all, the house where Sitaji lives is beautiful where Janaki lives is beautiful. When Sitaji stayed in Lanka, Tulsi named the whole scandal as Sundar Kant. Now imagine. Where Sita lives is beautiful. Who is Sita? Sita means power. Sita means devotion. Sita means Shankaracharya. Sita in the sense of God, peace, equivalent. Sita means peace, devotion, and power. Where will it live? Where there is beauty? Where there is no beauty, there is no peace. If the abode of devotion is beautiful, if it is in a beautiful house, then Sitaji brought from there and made Rama reside. This means that God resides where devotion resides, where devotion resides. God resides there, such means given by the saints, then I told you the same. Then Lord Rama, sage is staying there with the people. Yesterday we told that they had lunch, and then rested, it was written. Now there is no mention of Lord Rama sleeping in the afternoon. They might have slept in his childhood, might have put him to sleep in his childhood, that is a different matter, but now that he is a prince, he doesn't sleep in the afternoon, he doesn't sleep, but he falls asleep. There are two reasons. One reason is that the guest 
and they sleeps after eating. The host has to do everything. The guest gets a lot of trouble. And secondly, the person who is going to be the son-in-law is married to Sita, the son-in-law. And the son-in-law always gets asleep, as he has nothing else to do, just yawns, so the Lord rested. Rama rested, Rama stayed there, then this building became Sundar Sadan of Rama, this resting place became of Rama, because Rama was there, where there is devotion is there is resting, where there is peace, there rest. The evening took place, the young people of Mithila, the concubines of Ram's age, all this. They have come to see the prince. The palace door is closed. This is the guest of the kingdom, and Lord Vishwamitraji has come with them. So these young people of Mithila want to see Rama, but who will let him in? So, they are making a fuss, we have to meet, but who should introduce them? Lakshmanji saw that the young people of Mithila want to meet, but how did we meet? Laxman was considered the master of living beings, so the youth of Mithila are suffering from the creature. He knows their suffering. Then the feeling arose in his mind that if we go to the city on the pretext of city darshan, then we can easily meet these people. Then the reason for Laxman to be a living being in his mind, he is in the living side, so God knows his mind. Laxman's mind has come to know the mind of Laxman. So Laxman wants to meet everyone. But what to do without the Guru's permission? Then Lord Rama would say to the Guru, Maharaj, God, Laxmana wants to see this city. If you command, then I should go with him and see the city. If he goes alone, he will get lost in the city somewhere. If you say, then I will show him because he did not see it. Vishwamitraji said, Raghav Laxmana. Have not seen Janakpur? It is fine. You have said that I should see. Have you ever been here before? He said, Maharaj, not in a physical form, but where devotion resides, God is established there. There is no question of coming and going. I am here. But if a living being sees the world like Janakpur with his eyes, then he will probably disappear. He will see the world with the eyes of Brahm. And when Vinobhaji saw the world with the eyes of Brahma, Shankaracharya bowed down to God and said Vinobhaji, and says that Lord Shankaracharya and other great men said that the world is false. But Vinobhaji says, I saw with my own eyes that the world is not false. There is consciousness in the world of world energy. If you put the word world energy, then you have used the word world energy. If you see this with Brahma eyes, then see the city, so Maharaj, Vishwamitraji, very beautiful, said that Maharaj Raghav, you do not go to see the city. Then there is a woman in Janakpur whose name is Sunaina. Sunaina means whose eyes are beautiful, the queen of Janakraj. A person's eyes in Janakpur are beautiful, I think. It happens that if you go Raghav and if all sees you, then everyone's will be Sunain. The pupils of everyone's eyes will change. Everyone will get darshan benefit. Give darshan to everyone. Rama Laxman comes out of the palace door and see that those who cannot come to us, a great person should open the door to him himself. This revolutionary step, which is not you. What is here that lacks God's here? Love grew up in the heart. What is this? One you did not get. The whole world met. What is this? My heart did not blossoms, and all the rebel eyes shall I sing.
स्वामी जी लिखते हैं ये कथा शंकर भगवान पार्वती को सुना रहे याग्नवल के महाराज भरद्वाज जी को सुना रहे मां दुर्गा की स्तुति की विश्वम भरी अखिल विश्व तणी जनेता विद्या धरी वदन दुर्बुद्धि ने दूर करी सदबुद्धि आओ माम पाए भगवती भवतु रे रे भवानी बहुभूल थई जमानी आजिंदगी थई मने चाहे So Lord Rama went to those who could not go to him from the front. All the people of the city of Ram's age ran. There was a crowd to see Ram. There were elderly people. They were standing on the edge of the road. Does not even go to Rama. Just watching. Does not say anything. Women see Rama from the attic. For the dignity in Mithila, these young people touch Rama's body, make some excuse or the other. How beautiful is Rama? Someone or the other holds his hand. A young man says, "A prince of Janakpur. There is my home." Five steps from here, my grandmother is sitting there. A grandmother is sitting. Give her your darshan. Then Kumar takes him. Then says, "Sit in front. This is the square. The name of this square is Shatanand Chowk. It's named after our clan priest. The king named it Shatanand. Shatanand was the son of Ahalya and Gotama. He is the son of Ahalya and Gotama." Therefore the clan priest Satan and gave a lot of happiness and blessings to Rama. Shatanand is happy because his mother has been saved. And I used to say before that Ahalya and Kaushalya have the same rhyme. What is the equilibrium between both Ahalya and Kaushalya? Ahalya revealed Rama, Kaushalya revealed Rama, Rama revealed Ahalya. So all the children take him according to his interest. This is the street this is the square where they live this is my mother this is my younger sister introduces god to everyone said makran wrote so these children and boys touch rama by any excuse they take them to do this the whole city is thronged for them to see the rama form in which the children touch god and take him inside their homes they are knowledgeable elderly people meditators and philosophers who are in janakpur philosophers so this old man is attracted to him that who are these two but because of his knowledge because of that he just keeps looking like this he is very knowledgeable and he had an effect in his heart but his ego troubles him that is why they are unable to go but blessed is the form of devotion mother power he would have received the introduction of rama with great emotion in seeing rama from the attic devotion gets the introduction of god knowledge takes a while the seed does not grow in the dry ground the wetness is required so this beautiful episode written by goswami ji after a while rama and laxman in the east direction of janakpur in the east direction of where the arena of swayamvar has been built where the fate of janaki ji is to be decided they went to there and saw everything in the arena everyone will sit here there is a platform in the middle a bow will be placed there and all this will happen they saw all this on the eve i do not know yet 
but I took the matriculation examination in 62. At that time, it was that in the examination, you would have to see the seat number the day before the exam, and the day before, you would have to see your seat number. So Rama came to see his seat number as he has to pass tomorrow. Just look at your seat number and where they will let us sit. This is not my meaning, but of God Sharmadada's Lathi. How beautiful Katha we have done at Lathi. The Lathi is full of literature, and Kalapi was from there. How great poet. In a very young age, he was very creative, the Kalapi. There was an award given, named Kalapi. Initially, I went to present that. It's the work of Manjibai Dulakia. They called me and said that, Bapu, you came. And when I went there, Manji Bapu asked me why this committee gives so much amount for the Kalapi Award. Manji Baba, I feel this amount is less for the Kalapi Award. Then I said, Baba, it is very good. You have increased it a bit. Then the poor committee used to do it according to its capacity, but to me. So the meaning of Bhagwanji Baba is that Lord Rama saw the arena. And after that, it was evening time. And he returned. It was a little late. And Lord Rama thought that it would be late. Then the Guru would be angry. Rama was afraid of the Guru. The Guru does not scare. Remember, does not scare. But a little fear is also necessary. What does the scripture say? Whatever is in the Guru's command, even if the Guru never gets it, he is close to the Guru. And if you stay close for 24 hours or years and do not obey even a single command, then it is very far away. If you give such a command here, so hear the glory of the Guru, that my Guru will be offended. Guru will never scare. But though it is getting late in daily work, by whose the time is scared, then God is showing the glory of the Guru that the rule should not be broken. Evening worship was done, dinner was done, then sat with the Guru, and Guruji did some Upanishad discussions, and then told Rama that Raghav. Now go to sleep, rest. Vishwamitraji laid down, both brothers started serving the Guru's feet. For some time Vishwamitraji accepted the serving the feet, and then said, Raghav, now you also sleep. And when Rama lies down, Laksmanji is serving the feet. In this service is the glory of religion, and the sign that service and service has its glory. But I also humor again and again, and also say the reality that when someone massages your legs, mostly no one does, but if they do, they put almost no pressure. They do it in other ways, but not in actuality. That's why there are recliners made who does foot massages, but there is a difference between mechanical hands and human hands. There are these recliners in big airports, and people get massages from it for two, three hours. It massages the entire body. A person told me that I would gift you one. I said, give it to your father. Give it to him. He requires it. You should look after each member of your family. Family is a big religion. After that, there is spiritual religion. We do care for others, but not family. After caring for family, care for your neighbor. After neighbor, take care of region. It's religion. We should donate in temples, but nearby some hut, which are real temples. Their flags are falling. Put flags on them. Our Jadavji Bapa from Gadada used to say, fill the order of your house. Fill in the order of your house, not others. So we should do this. Otherwise, what will happen? Karshandas Bapa wrote. So when someone gives a foot massage, you should stop him after five minutes out of respect. If they do it a little hard out of request, that's good too. So it should be mutual. But we should stop them every five minutes and be awake to say no. That's the condition. The one who is awake can only say no. The sleeping people always say yes. So that's the thing about the great people. There was a Maharaj, as you people heard many times. There was Bapu and his disciple was massaging his feet. The Bapu had eaten so many sweets in the spiritual gathering that he got diabetes, and it crushed his body, and he had too much pain in his ankle, and you see the dog bit at his ankle too. It's an injection for diabetic people. The dog's saliva has that power, so if the dog doesn't bite, make him bite you. Otherwise, there are always doctors there. There is a medicine for the diabetic, isn't there? Who gives it? Doctor. Who gives injections? Doctor. It's a fact. Many people come to me with faith that I have this illness. I clearly get the opinion of a doctor. This is not my expertise. Yes, I can pray for you. I don't come here with medicine. Some people ask for burqa. I don't sell burqa. 
I have come out to avoid your anger, or your anger comes out, I give when they ask. But many people come and say, give us mala, kanti, I don't come here to sell anything. I am here to get sold. I came with mobile van to reduce you anger, your depression, for your better health. So the legs of Bapu were so hard, a dog has bitten a person on shoulder. How could a dog can bite someone's shoulder? It's out of its range. The dog can reach to belly and gets tired. So dog has bitten that person on shoulder and took out a piece, like you do a down on your shirt that much piece. That much piece was taken by it. So another person met him and said, Brother, why is the dog bitten here? Why is the dog bitten here? He said, dog has bitter. But why here? Because I was in my street. The wall was high and the dog was sitting there. It looked at me. I didn't look at the dog. I thought, who is this black-headed man? So how come it can reach leg? So. <laughs> He was the kind of person to whom the dog would bite, so the dog would also do his work. So he bit on the shoulder. Serve the guru child. You will get heaven while sleeping. He sang the poem. The disciple was massaging the guru's legs. Some people do very soft massage to the legs, like buttering bread. They should do a hard massage. I took the support of a boy while stepping the steps. Then the boy said, you can hand tightly as you can, as I do exercise. Who support it? Who is for us to see in the future? So while massaging legs, they should do it honestly, a little harder. Don't do it like you are applying henna on the legs. This is the experience of the saints and sages. We should serve them. Look, two pigeons came outside. Tina, where are you going? Put some grains for them. They are like my pigeons too. So he was massaging his legs and Bapu was sleeping. From nine to ten, he was massaging the legs. So the disciple thought that Bapu was going to sleep now. And if I stopped, Bapu would get awake. So he could rest and I could rest too. So he started putting legs aside slowly. But Bapu was not sleeping and asked him, how many brothers are you? He replied, four brothers, Gotu, Chotu, Chagan, and Magan. Okay, four brothers. So like that Bapu implied that he was not yet sleeping, it became 11 o'clock now, and Bapu was still not sleeping, and again asked, out of the four brothers, how many got married? Two, Chagan and Megan are married, and Gotu and Chotu are unmarried. Okay. Then Bapu started chanting with closed eyes. At one o'clock, the chanting slowed down again. This person died. So what is the business of those two brothers who got married? One is a diamond polisher in Surat and the other one works in a motel in America. Then again, he got to sleep, and now it was three o'clock. There should be non-violence. Then again, at three o'clock, he woke up and asked, how many brothers are you? As Bapu forgot the entire conversation, the disciple said three brothers. Bapu said at eleven o'clock, you said four. You're killing me now. After this, Megan will be dead. There should not be disinterest in service. I am simplify it. The Vishwamitra said to Rama, you sleep, now go. And as Lakshmanji massaged Rama's feet, he told him to go to sleep too. Out of respect, he went to sleep, 
Morning arrived. In the morning, they got up and did their daily routine. And after that, both brothers went to Janak's flower garden to choose flowers for the worship of Guru. There Sitaji met him for the first time. Janaki came to worship Gauri, and Rama came for flower selection to worship Guru. In a very loving literary language, it is called Purvaraga. This is Purvaraga Sitaram. The meeting of Rama is a very beautiful affair. You know, there is no leisure in this. They surrendered to each other. With dignity, Janakiji took the Ram form from the door of her eyes to the house of the heart and closed the doors because the guests who came should not go out, made Rama in the heart. By dignity and Lord Rama, by making the heart picture of Janakiji, the divine form of Janakiji on the canvas of his heart, by making her a royal and by inscribing the picture of Sita on his heart, in this form she was added to another Purvaraga, Janakiji, after seeing Rama, then goes to the temple of Bhavani and praises Mother Gauri, Goswami has written this Durga Arti. <laughs> When Parashurama came to know about the influence of Rama, he attained salvation by hailing God. Parashuram is also an incarnation, but the incarnation of Rama was started, so wrapped up his incarnation work, went to do penance on Mahendra Giri. Now Vishwamitra tells Janak to send a messenger with letter to Ayodhya. King, king should come with procession and give your daughter to Rama as per folk and Vedic rituals. Messengers went. Avatapati comes with the wedding procession from Ayodhya. Makshar Shukla Panchami, Viva Panchami. The month named Makshar is the glorious month of God out of the twelve months, and there was much glory than the glory of seven personalities. And the marriage of Janaki was decided to happen in Makshar month. Rama's procession was started. There are different stories. Rama bowed down to the sages and others and sat on the throne. Ashta Sakriya took Janakaji to the porch. Purification of position happened. Panigrahan happened. Then vermilion donation happened. Then circumambulation. Babri began. Rama Sita's holy steps started. It was done according to both Vedic and folk rituals. Vashishji said to Janak, Mithilesh, I think you also have a daughter, Urmila. Yes, Maharaj and your younger brother, Kushdwaj, Kushketu, and his two daughters. Yes, Mandavi and Shrutkirti. So why don't... Janakji, as Sita is getting married to Rama, Urmila with Laksman, Mandavi with Bharat, and Shrutkirti with Shatrugna, God blesses in the same marriage porch, and Goswami Ji got the three brothers married as well. The marriage completed, the wedding procession stayed for many days in Janakpur because of the people of Mithila. They did not give farewell, then demanded from Mithilesh that now let Avapati go, and Mithilesh and Mithila bid farewell to their four princesses and the farewell of the girl is natural. It is a little wet for the parents. It would have been compassionate. A wise man like Janak has become loose today because four daughters are going, tears in Sunina's eyes. Entire Mithila is tearing up. Four sisters are going to their husband's house together. They have gone a long way to bid them farewell, and at that time, People used to travel in palanquins only, so all the four girls were sitting in the palanquin in the carriage. The bearers were lifting them, and these palanquins stopped being visible. The road reached that kind of turn. Till then, Janak followed them, and when? 
until it stopped, then Janak returned, and I won't go into it too much. When a father returns, after bidding farewell to his daughter, only a father can understand this, this Indian relation between a father and daughter. I often say, if a one and only son dies accidentally, may God bless that it happens, but one and only son of someone dies accidentally at a young age, then the father of that son can't live, but also can't cry. They are so stone-hearted, but how much what I have seen. I never saw a father who doesn't cry at the time of the farewell of his daughter. The relationship between daughter and father is wonderful. Poet Dadal wrote that when King Himachal gave farewell to Parvati, then the Himalaya was also torn. Maharishi Kanav as the foster father. When he bid farewell to Shakuntala, he also cried while on road the Sharataji procession. All of them reached Ayodhya by placing four thrones, and the arti was performed by making the four couples sit. For the marriage processions, the guests who had come from outside there were given residence to everyone. Vishwamitra Maharaj was given residence inside the king palace. There is a vigil at night. Auspicious songs are being sung. Days started passing. The guests left now at the end, there was a monk's farewell. He was Vishwamitra, due to whom all this happened. The whole royal family stood with bright eyes to bid farewell to Vishwamitra Ji. And while bidding farewell to Vishwamitra Ji, Tulsi has written the words of Dasharatha Ji and family members while farewell as the dialogue of today's kata is being put to rest here. We will meet tomorrow at five o'clock, not today, tomorrow. My greetings to all of you, Jai Siaram. The dialogue will proceed again at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Speak with emotion, Ram Chandra Bhagwan Priya Ho, Bal Krishna Bhagwan Priya Sadguru Bhagwan Priya, Om Namah Parvati Pati Har Mahadev Har, Ashrathji said, O oh God, he is saying to Vishwamitra Maharaj, All this wealth is yours. I, our son, my sons is the brides. The whole of Ayodhya is your servant, considering us as children, considering us as children. Keep blessing us, and we worldly people forget you. But when you get a break in your meditation, your bhajan, come from the front and keep giving us darshan. How difficult it is to bid farewell to a sage. Goswamiji says, it is written in Ramayan. There are two types of people in the world. One, if they come, gives sorrow. Another, when they go, gives sorrow. Both give sorrow. Vishwamitraji was a great man. It's not written in Manas, but I know even while going, he didn't go in chariot. Sage came, gave it all, and went back. Don't ask anything more from Sage. Just ask for the sanskar in your children. And even if we forget, remember us. Keep us in your feet, in your eyes. I always say, Keep us in your feet. 
keep us in your mind and keep us in your eyes so we can make our life blessed. Vishwamitra ji left. Ever since Janaki came to Ayodhya, the four brothers got married. The prosperity of Ayodhya began to multiply and the first echelon of Ramcharitman's Balakand, while stopping it, Goswamiji sings verses. So Goswamiji says, in the end, to purify my speech, I sang the story of Rama, the fame of God, this is the ocean, who can ever cross, yet I told you some episodes, by the grace of Sitaram, who will sing and listen, they will be blessed. This entire episode, I took at least 15-20 minutes of yours, but Kag Busundi is not taking even one couplet, half a couplet not even one couplet, half in the second half. I am a little generous that I have given you so much time, rest of the. Till then, it is about Ayodhya. But Vishwamitra came, went to Janakpur, and after marrying Rama, brought Lakshmana, this half couplet of Rishi Agvan said, and dedicate this briefly sung Balakant in Bhagavata Charan, let us pause today's story here for a minute. <laughs>
of today's narrative is being put to rest here. We'll meet at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Not today. I'll see you tomorrow. My greetings to all of you. Jai Siaram. The dialogue will proceed again at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Speak with emotion 